And new at nine tonight, Hawkins ISD students and teachers are looking forward to some major renovations. The community just voted to approve a bond project. It was more, more than $11 million. Fox 51's Frank Jefferson sat down with a teacher to discuss how important this is for the students. Matt Bird is a teacher at Hawkins ISD. He's been at the school district four years and says the best is yet to come. Us, our students are excited. When we came into school Monday morning, uh, they all had a smile on their face and you know they, they obviously heard the news already. Voters just gave the district the green light on an almost $12 million bond. Five million of that money is going towards vocational and agricultural programs. It means the world to, to me and for our students. Uh, We've needed this expansion to happen. We're, we're busting at the seams. Burr's not the only one who feels this way. Other school leaders say they're excited about how these funds will positively impact students. It's a valuable piece no matter what pathway our students are on. I think that they're going to have great value from it. Band and, and football and baseball and uh, even down to our elementary kids who use it for field day. So. Uh, there's so many people are going to benefit from it. The bond money isn't just going to the ag program. It's also going to the school's buses and the Hawkins ISD marquee and the school's football field. The bond was broken up in two parts. Proposition A was $9.6 million going towards school building improvements. Proposition B focused $2.1 million on athletic facility renovations. Bird says this is bigger than the bond. I know what it's going to do for them and, and I think that they're starting to, to really let that sink in now and know what's coming and it's pretty exciting. The money will help create a brighter future for Hawkins students for years to come. Frank Jefferson, Fox 51 News. Well, there are exceptions for the property tax increase. This would be for the disabled and anyone 65 years or older. If you're concerned about this, you'd like to see if you qualify for this exemption, go to our website. We've got the information for you. That is fox51.com.